What the frick is up, YouTube? It's your boy Connor IGL, and today we're back in the world of RL Craft. In the last episode, we found ourselves uh, looking and making a summoning staff, okay? We were able to summon some stuff. We got some crazy, crazy beast to help us on our adventure, but we still have something we need to do. I want to create an underwater house. We have our pirate ship house. It's totally cool, totally fine, but uh, I want to expand on it. I want to make an underwater part of it. That way I can have my uh, enchanting table down there and have a really cool enchanting room. So let's just jump right into the episode. Episode. All right, so in the last episode, like I said, we, uh, you know, we went ahead and got a bunch of doggos. We have a summoning staff now. I can summon some really, really cool stuff. But uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of crazy critters out there in the water that uh, want to eat our face. So we're going to make sure that doesn't happen. And by doing that, we're actually just going to build an under underwater base. That's uh, that's the only thing that I can really think that would make this, uh, you know, safe at least. And that way you guys can get off my back about having unorganized chests and stuff. Because I, I know that's definitely something I need to do. I've also been getting a lot of people complaining about this uh this, uh, this thing not being all the way through and that it only like going from two to one and then it connected to the water so just for you guys i'm still not going to finish it i'm going to keep finishing it throughout the episodes and that way eventually it will be done so let's grab some water really quick uh let's eat some food as well because your boy is hungry so i'm actually gonna have to eventually uh work on getting rid of a lot of my uh, items and kind of like organizing a little bit because right now our inventory is a little bit messed up like i said earlier you guys seem a little bit upset that i haven't been fixing it and uh the fact that i have like items in this house that should technically be over at my other base so don't worry over time i'm gonna fix it okay stop yelling just please stop yelling at me thank you i really appreciate it it hurts my chest from you guys yelling at me anyways let's uh let's go ahead and just put some items away i want to make a stone shovel or a maybe an iron shovel i don't know exactly what i'll be able to use i hear a zombie outside or something i might be tripping i don't think there's an actual enemy outside I must be tripping out completely uh let's see do i have any items i don't have anything i need i have a stone axe and i have some oak wood so I could just honestly just drop this oak wood and then I'll make it into some uh, stuff. Go ahead and just break a bunch of these and grab, grab a bunch of dirt or sand after this. Because uh, that underwater base is going to be made out of glass. We're going to have a glass under underground underwater base. It would be really, really cool. Because luckily we're on the beach. We have all sorts of dirt over here. And it uh, shouldn't take us very long to uh, gather a bunch of that stuff. So I don't know what my uh, my gathering level is. I'd like to say it's eight. I'm going to have to check. But I'm going to see if I can even use an iron shovel what i can use bound shovel what the heck they have bound shovels that stay in your inventory that's really cool ravaging shovel how do you make that that's some crazy stuff uh iron shovel i do have enough okay cool i can make an iron shovel i'm gonna make some sticks really quick bazinga go ahead and do wow my voice is cracked kms go just make an iron shovel real fast and bazinga your boy has an iron shovel making life way easier than uh it should be so uh, let's go ahead and start gathering some sand start cooking it making it into some glass we're gonna need probably like three full stacks of sand so it might it might be a little bit before this is even done so one thing i am I'm nervous about though while i'm doing this is the fact that those little like sand gyaradoses or whatever they are like in the water the little dragons the sea serpents they keep trying to come out i just threw my shovel they keep trying to come after me and kill me and uh that's not it's not very nice of them that doesn't that doesn't help me out at all yo there's some sugar cane over there wouldn't be a bad idea to go grab some of that sugar cane honestly the heck is that over there hold up where's my boat there's something in the water over there i'm gonna grab a lot of the sand i'm gonna go check that out while well, you know honestly like let's just let this stuff cook for a little bit uh how many should we with 48 i'm gonna gather some more sand and then there's like a it looks like a building in the water over there i'm gonna gather, gather some more sand really quick and then go have to start cooking up at my house and then we're gonna go into that area over there because that'd be really really cool it should be a full stack yeah that's full stack let's head home drop this off get this cooking make some glass out of it and then we'll go see exactly what that is with our boat hopefully we don't die from it and uh you guys keep asking me to go up to that uh hot air balloon i'll go up there once uh i feel like i think i need to so i went to that one over there there wasn't anything in it like literally nothing was in that one which is like really upsetting so it just felt like a complete waste of time so i, I don't want to do that again so okay so let's drop off this stuff in here let's make it uh official start cooking up some of that sand and we'll drop off that one as well we have nine pieces of glass already wow my chest is really unorganized i can see why that would be infuriating to a lot of you guys that's that's, that's okay part of the game and uh let's grab our boat and let's head out let's go see what's over there curious so it looks like it was out this way i'm going go towards the beach area then i'm just gonna follow this along the way because it looks like it was over this way. wow my voice keeps cracking dude i need something to drink Probably some gamer subs in my system would really help. You gotta be careful going this way because there's a dragon. Yep, there it is. There's there's the dragon. There he is. What is this? Was this a little like a hole? Is, is that all this is? Yeah, nothing. Okay. That was that was a voice time. Okay, mess. Sad boy stuff. There we go. Alright, we just gotta be careful of that dragon. Make sure he doesn't come over here. Cause he, I think he's protecting that castle over there. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Dude, what is this? This is definitely an underwater, like like underwater system. Like how what the heck? Just found like a wizard tower. What is this dude? Okay, hold up. What is going on here? We gotta go 
down to that. We definitely have to go down into that. I haven't been this far this way. This is wild. And there's something over there too, for sure. Okay, let's grab some water really quick. And then we're definitely going to go down there and see what's up. Because you can go into that. Oh man, it's dark. I can't see anything. I hope I'm not going to get hurt by anything. What is this? Is this literally just an underwater village? Oh my gosh. They have enchanting tables down here. What is this? Enchanted book. Okay, some paper and empty map. What is this place, dude? What the heck? More enchanted books. Okay, we're going to drop some stuff off. Uh, We don't, we, we need these books. We're going to need those books for sure. I'm going to take all those books and I'm going to take all this paper too. That way I can make more books out of them. We're going to need them for uh when we want to do our enchanting room eventually, like I said earlier. Uh, I'll keep that on me. I'm going to drop this chicken off. There we go. Okay, dude, this is wild. I literally have never seen something like this before. This is so crazy. What is this? More runes. Oh my gosh, dude. This is so sick, honestly. Grab some more of this paper, more of these books. Let's keep a lookout. Make sure that we're not going to be missing anything. There's a bunch of like wheat here. That's nether wart. Okay, we got to get some of that nether wart too. I'm going to get rid of this string and pick up all this wheat. Okay, I'll, I'll get a bunch of XP for that too. Pick up a lot of that stuff. Dude, I just feel like I have like too much stuff on me. Uh, give me that wheat. Give me that wheat. Give me the loot. I'm going to get rid of my, uh, what do I want to get? I'll get rid of that plasters for the nether wart. And they have soul sand, which means I can make an elevator. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh, do I do it? I don't know if I do it. I'm going to leave it here. I'll come grab it if, whenever I want to make that, that elevator. It's up here though. Okay. More crafting runes. Ash destroyer. Deals extra damage if the enemy is on fire. What? That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop some more stuff off, some more healing stuff. I don't I don't feel like I need a lot of this. Uh yeah, I'll pick that up. I'm gonna drop off so far, dude. This is a really wicked find. This is wild. I honestly didn't plan on doing this at all. This is not part of the, the thing that I had planned for this video. Re reviled reveled blade. I don't know what that means. Oh man. Reveled blade and heavy line. Your web your damage grows the more your lower opponent. Wow. Your damage grows the more your lower the wow. The more the lower your opponent's health is. That like bitch that, like messed up my brain. Enchantment, heavy line. Wow. Okay, cool. So like the heavier your fish, the better it is. Nothing cooking in there. The bed there. Dude, this, I mean, this is a redone underwater base, but I'm not going to take it. Like I want to build my own underwater base, but this is really cool. Another crafting rune. Look at all these crap. Yeah, I'm going to start picking up a lot of these crafting runes still. Let's check these, make sure they're still good. Okay, here we go. Let's see. What else is there in here? More books, short cast, lucky strike, pick up more books, more crafting runes. Let's get rid of that. Pick up that crafting rune. Go search around a little bit more. I think that would have been the last room in this entire place. Um, other than that, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, sick. Let's double check in here. Nothing in here. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much all the rooms it seems like. All right, cool. Let's get out of here. That was a really wild find. Let's get up. Let's get into the surface and let's make sure we get back to where our ship was. Is that a lighthouse? Is that what that's supposed to be? Or is that like a wizard's tower? I'm kind of nervous. Well, let's let's sleep really quick. Since we're outside, we can sleep. We'll wake up in the morning and then we'll be we'll be wandering around in the daytime without any issues. So, all right, daytime. Got our sleeping bag. I'm really glad I made that sleeping bag. And it's like honestly makes a world of difference. Okay, there's a bunch of endermen there. There's a trumpet skelly. And there's some sirens over there on those rocks. Okay. All right, let's check out this tower. This thing is huge, bro. What the heck? I'm like kind of nervous, honestly. What's going to be in here? I've never been this far over, honestly. Okay. Let's look for enemies in here. What happened in here? It looks pretty wild in here. Something doesn't look right in here. It's, is it a lighthouse? Is that all it is? It's kind of like nerve wracking. I'm at, oh, ow, why did that hurt? What is this? That was just snow. Some more sand. Nothing down here. Was this just a big waste of time? It's found like this giant tower for no reason. It's kind of, it's kind of what it seems like. That's kind of depressing. All right. Well, cool. I'm going to drop my matchbox and pick up the sand and then that way I can use this to get back up there. Uh, okay, cool. With that being said, why can't I place that? Oh, that's why. Wow. That's really obnoxious. All right. Why can't I I'm not gonna be able to get up? I do it like that. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's head back up. Make sure we don't die by anything. I kind of want to get back in my boat because I think I saw a tower in the distance. I could be wrong. I don't like to be wrong, but I want to go see that tower and see if that's actually something there. If it is, that might be something wicked to go find one day. Go uh, explore and try out. See what's up. So let's get in our boat. Let's head back over to that tower, which we got to be careful though because there's sirens over there. That's an underwater ship or something. It looks like. Okay. There's sirens on that little island. What in the world is this thing? Are the dragons. Okay. The dragon's there. Sirens are there. We got to be careful here. The dragon's in the water right now. He's chilling. He's doing his own thing. What in the world is this thing? Okay. Hold up. We're going to go. We're going to go look at this tower. It's like a tower of Sauron from Lord of the Rings or something, dude. This is wild. Yeah. It's getting all like crazy dark and like sketchy around here now. It's going down over here. Okay. Some tremors. Um, yeah. I don't want to go near that thing yet. Uh, we'll come back for that. I, I genuinely don't want to go near that yet. We'll, we'll come back to that in, a, in another episode. We'll go explore it. We'll go take it out because it looks like uh, whatever's in there is probably going to try and kill me because that's literally just how this game functions. Everything is out trying to kill you. So I, I don't feel like dealing with that today. <laughs> so we're going to
gonna head back home. We're gonna get this glass going again, make sure we can start working on our base, and then uh, we should be good to go after that. I'm gonna drop this bottle off because I just genuinely just need some water. Uh, grab the bottle again, hop back in the ship, and we're on our way. Hello, Mr. Dragon. Please leave me alone. Do not try and kill me. I would really appreciate that. Good luck in the water. I wonder if dragons, if they're in the water, if they can't do anything to you after that. I'm not sure. <gasps> oh, there's a Lacedon. Oh, you leave me alone, mister. You leave me alone, Mr. Lacedon. Back up, back up, back up, dude. Leave me alone. Frick, I can't see him. Yo, he's jammed. Look at him. He's swimming back there. Back up. He's doing drive-by. Got him. That's what I'm talking about. Suck it, jerk. Last one I was out here doing drive-bys and stuff, trying to take me out. Bunch of jerks. The heck is wrong with them? Okay, making it back home. Everything's loading in finally. Thank gosh, man. That 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 was a crazy trip out there. Found a crazy like lighthouse. I wonder if that lighthouse is there because of that underwater base. I'm wondering if that's why. Like if those two are connected for some reason. All right, let's look here and see. We got these glasses in there. I'm gonna drop that. Uh, why is there only nine out of that one? Is it because I was gone? If it's because I was gone, I'm gonna be really upset. Like I needed to be in the area for us to do that for real like actually okay well let's go ahead and make a crate really fast and that way i can put all these runes in that i wanted to do not in this one i want to go in this one yeah there we go carpentry bed. boom great i'm just gonna throw that right there go down here put these runes in this crate right here let's look at all these runes man that's nuts i'll put runes and the enchanted books in there and the paper and stuff that way we have it in there all right let's go back up check this out grab these torches and perfect okay so we got glass going apparently i need to be in the area for that to cook which kind of really really freaking sucks but that's fine um just kind of let that go for a little bit longer i wish oh i can i can do faster smelting if i, if I remember if i hit l and I go to crafting cooking speed but i think it's smelting that i want right yeah i need to have 11 levels just to even potentially get that which is kind of annoying all right well i guess in the meantime we'll go get some more sand because we're definitely going to need to get a lot a lot of sand for this so that's cooking while that's cooking we're just going to get some sand kick it eat some bread get that bread aka that glass yo it'll be fine it'll be all good well we'll start expanding the house downward a little bit and start making that uh water base easy peasy Glock. Easy peace. All right, let's see here. Grab some more of the sand. I'm hoping that I can just completely eliminate this mountain. Just absolutely devast devastate the land here with uh, this mountain being gone. Probably won't make a difference, honestly. Uh, I don't think anything here is going to care. I don't know if, because I know when you break coal and stuff, stuff will spawn, like Geo Natches and stuff in the past have spawned from coal. I don't know if it does the same thing for if you're like destroying a bunch of sand or not. I, I really hope it doesn't. That would kind of suck. But there's not much I can do about that. I just got me another fat stack of sand, yo. Fatty stacks. How much was that? How much was that? That's a stack and a half. That's not even fast stack, dude. Frick. Let's head back home and see if we can get some more of this cooking. And uh, we'll probably start making our way downward. Because the way I want to do the underwater house is I want to use the glass as a downward and in a downward trajection from the boat. How am I going to get that water out with a bucket? I think I'll need a bucket. Maybe I can use this thing. Okay. How do I want to get down there, though? Is it already turning nighttime, dude? Or is that just the inside of my house being depressing as heck? It might just be the inside of my house. That's fine. Down there. Got some more glass. And then let's take the glass out of here. Perfect. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So with where we're at right now, we're not looking too bad. Maybe I make the enchanting uh, room, like the extra underground part, uh, kind of going downward in this direction. Or if like I were to walk up, maybe I'll just get rid of this thing. How about that? Just get rid of the center pillar. It's a fake pillar anyways. It's faux. It doesn't have any function or anything. And then what I'll do is I can go in this way and then back down this way. And then down here. Excuse me, sir. Can you move a little bit, please? Move your, move your booty, please. Thank you very much. Did I hear a torch go out? I think I just heard a torch go out. I'm gonna, yeah, this one just went out. Okay. I'm gonna replace these with uh, pre-lit torches that stay lit forever okay there we go all right now those won't go bad okay so from here we want to go uh like downward right like from here on out we want to go downward and there's just a straight up water right there okay now this begins the dangerous part of going downward even more so we're, let's make some stairs maybe that might not be a bad idea make some like wood stairs and that way we'll uh have some sort of guidance in terms of how we want to go down um let's see we have 12 stairs that's not bad okay so let's go like this right yeah we want some stairs there we want some stairs here here, and then we're gonna want to go down again which means i'm gonna have to break this stuff uh right yeah i'm gonna have to break this guy I'm, i can't be hitting my forehead on that okay we'll do that and we'll come back up onto these stairs and then we'll start putting some glass like this I think this is how we're gonna want to do it and we'll go like stair oh that's upside down we don't want the stairs to be upside down that's not how we want it it's nighttime let's sleep really quick if we don't sleep probably gonna die if we die we're right next to the house but that's that would really suck because we're right next to the house we don't want to die next to the house honestly <sighs> okay so we're back here can i i really don't want to break this glass but if and i just already broke it okay that's cool sick it's literally winning against what i just said we just got more glass perfect and we're already out of water too what is going on right now in this okay let's get into the water let's be careful here there, there's apparently been lacedons around here they're trying to kill us let's get these stairs like that and like that yeah okay perfect and then what we'll do is we'll go out like this that and then these stairs will be like that like that okay we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere it's not going to be a fast process it's going to take a little bit 
for me to get this done correctly. Then we'll go like this, just like that. Then we'll go those stairs right there, those stairs right there. We'll go back up, get some more air, breathe a little bit, some glass on these. Dang, we're gonna need a lot of glass, frick. I didn't realize how much glass we're actually gonna need. One hour later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, about an hour later, okay? It took me an hour to fill up this entire space, add some more glass to it. You know, it just took me a very, very long time to do this, but the underwater base is finally finished. Are you guys ready for this, okay? Here we go. We're going down. It's a little underwhelming. I know, it's a little underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad looking, but look, we got some got some space here. We can put like two beds. Ooh, some nice beds right there. Got all this stuff too. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. Uh, we we gotta add some stuff to it. Okay, let me know what you guys think we should put down in this underwater base. If we should have the villagers live down here, should we should have the enchantment table down here or what? Let me know down in the comments below. But uh, yeah, it, it's done. It took us a while. It took us a very long time for us to do this, but we finally did it. We made the underwater base. A little bit of an underwater house. It's pretty sick. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys click that video on the right. That was the last time I played RL Craft on this channel. That video on the left is a YouTube recommend specifically for you. Make sure you guys subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace!